So one of the most common problems with Pokemon cartridges is the batteries running out on them. And the batteries are used for uh, saving, so if the battery runs dead in your Pokemon cartridge, you'll be unable to save your game. So I've been requested to do a video on how to change the batteries on a Pokemon cartridge. And this is a pretty simple fix, but you're going to need several things before you attempt this. First of all, you're going to need a Pokemon cartridge with a dead battery. This one actually has a new battery in it, but just for shits and giggles, we're going to change it. You're going to need a 8.3 millimeter game bit. These are a tamper-proof Nintendo screw bit. You can get them on eBay for pretty cheap. You're also going to need a CR2025 watch battery with pins uh, soldered to it. You can get those on eBay for pretty cheap as well. You just search Pokemon battery and you can pull up a bunch of them for pretty fairly cheap. You're also going to need a soldering iron, something to pry the battery with, and something to hold the cartridge down while you solder it because it's fairly, it's a very light cartridge. So let's get right into this. The Pokemon cartridges, or rather Game Boy cartridges, are fairly easy to open. They're probably one of the most easy to open cartridges out there. They've only got one screw securing them, so go ahead and remove that with your game bit. incredibly easy to remove and just put that in a safe location. I'm going to put it over here. And then to remove the board from the cartridge, you pull down on the face of the cartridge and just lift it up. And as you can see, here is our beautiful Pokemon cartridge. Here is the battery. As you can see, well, this one this one has been repaired before or has been replaced before so this one's not a necessary repair to make but I'm going to make it just for demonstrative purposes what we do to this is get it at a comfortable angle where you can take your soldering iron and reach both solder points comfortably so that'd be right here for me I can reach both of those without straining too much and you're going to want to tape your cartridge down with your masking tape. Okay, once you have your board taped down and your soldering iron is hot enough to melt solder, you're going to want to go ahead and desolder the first contact. And just get a hold of it and pry it up like so beautiful. And then. blow on the solder. Make sure it doesn't re-solder once you've pulled it up. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Beautiful. Perfect desolder. Now I know I am shitty at soldering so feel free to tell me in the comments below but that just goes to show that Anybody can do this, anybody that has a soldering iron at least. It's pretty much the easiest repair that you can make outside of cleaning a console. So, next what we're going to do is slap the new battery on there. Now since this is already a new battery, we're just going to pretend like it's a different battery. Bear with me. To do this, we just lay the battery down in the position it was in. And that is with the bottom contact facing the outside and the top contact, which is the one underneath, or rather the top contact facing outside, the bottom contact facing the top of the cartridge. And here's how we do this. Let's get it in place. Hold it down. Bam. See how easy that was? Do the same thing to the other side. And bam. I round those off so they're a little bit nicer solder points. I realize that I am terrible at soldering, but 
as you can see this battery is nice and secure in there and ready to save your adventures in the Pokemon League for another 10 to 15 years. Okay, so next year we're going to want to pull the tape up very carefully. So we're going to want to take the cartridge, place the board back into it, and snap the face into the rails and slide it up to lock it. Take our screw, and our game bit, and just get that screw back in there, and there you have it. A restored Pokemon cartridge ready to save for the next decade. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.